Some big bond issues decided last night. The much disputed Paseo I-25 project will move forward. It passed 65% to 35%. Mayor R.J. Berry had strongly campaigned for the $50 million project. The approval means work to improve that area may go into effect at the end of next summer. And a vote of confidence on the Paseo project at the county level, a Bernalillo County bond that ties into the Paseo project passed by 66% to 34%. The $10 million bond includes $5 million to help pay for the Paseo makeover. Albuquerque voters also approved raising the city's minimum wage, but this is not a done deal. It passed 65 to 35. The minimum wage will increase from 750 to 850 an hour. Even though the increase passed, it might be a while before workers actually see it. Opponents have already threatened to sue, and the city council could actually overrule the vote at a later date. A big vote for the state's colleges. Voters approved $120 million to spruce up old buildings and build some new ones. Usually these statewide bonds pass easily, but two years ago, a similar bond narrowly failed. This time around, backers raised some serious cash for an ad blitz pushing for the need for bond C. It passed 61% to 39. Three amendments dealing with the scandal-plagued PRC. The Public Regulation Commission has the vital job of overseeing public utilities and insurance companies and also setting rates. Now, the push to increase qualifications to run for PRC passed 81 percent to 19 percent. Now, the next issue would shift the job of registering corporations from the PRC to the Secretary of State's office. Let's go ahead. There you go. That's the SOS authority. And it was very close here. It was a close decision with 51 percent voting yes, 49 percent against. The last one dealing with the PRC was a big one and equally close. Now this one would create a new state agency to oversee the insurance industry, stripping the PRC of that duty. Again, close, 51% approved, 49% uh, against.